Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kapil and in this video, I'm showing you three different lighting setups for food photography. Let's have a look. Hi, so let's get into it. Uh, what I've got here is a donut from memory salted caramel and of course this lovely plate i've got this whole little setup going on like a table setup you know like a con like a cozy corner setup with a book uh, you know specs a jar and a, a empty cup which i'm gonna fill with black coffee so this is my setup at the moment and uh, i'm using an octa box which is double diffused just Double diffuse. There's a diffusion here. There's a diffusion panel inside. Right there. Let me stick it back. Okay, so I'm using an Octobox. And um, this would be the side lighting for me. This would be my frame somewhere here. I'm gonna be shooting from here. And this would be the side lighting for me. Uh, once, once I set up my camera, I'm gonna show you how th that's gonna look. And for this video, I'm using my Godox SK300. Uh, this is a studio strobe uh, This trust me. This is a very reliable strobe. I have been using for the past two three years and this is Quite cheap for for the quality that you get and moving on All right, so I got the coffee in and I didn't like the old placement of the specs. So I changed, I opened it up and kept it like that. So let's go with the first lighting setup. That would be the side light. And my camera settings would be at the moment. Let me check. So I am at 125th of a second, F13, ISO 100, auto white balance always shoot raw all right let's fire away shot and let's see what we get i'm already focused on the donut that's a tad bit it's not a tad bit that's a lot overexposed i think i messed up my messed up the lighting settings just gonna bring it down a notch maybe a little bit more than a notch Yep, that's good. One fourth plus point two. That's power. Right. And let's fire maybe another shot. So this is the kind of result you get with the single light setup. Uh, on this, this is the side lighting. I'm about uh, give and take three, uh, two and a half to three feet from the subject. The distance of the light to the subject. And uh, I'm using my Canon uh, 5D Mark III with the 24-70 f2, uh, f2.8 lens. So th that's a lovely light. I'm loving these shadows as well. I can, you know, bring down the shadows a little bit by just keeping the white card out here, somewhere here. And just bouncing back the light out there. But I'm loving this mood. So I'm going to stick to it. So let's uh, let's go with the next setup. So in this next setup, I had to move my setup a little bit behind uh, because I'm kind of restricted by the space that I shoot in. I shoot in my bedroom. Anyway, uh, so this would be the quarter light setup where my this is my frame. So the light setup is literally on the three fourth of the frame. That is a quarter frame and. Uh, Let's fire away shot and see what we get. Mm. 
see the kind of drama that light creates by just moving it from here to you know, just shifting it like literally a few inches from the frame and it creates such a huge drama it's a little bit more dramatic for me for my taste i mean i, I do like it but uh yeah that's the drama you can create but i'm going to fill in the shadows with this white card just bringing in right opposite the light source right here and it's going to fire give a more shot that just looks gorgeous from this to this all right moving on to the next lighting setup So for my next setup, I have completely moved the light behind our subject, which would create the backlighting. And let's fire up the shot. See the immense drama. I love backlighting. The kind of drama it creates is absolutely amazing. And when you go close with the food. Uh here I'm going to take a macro shot and I'm going to show you how backlighting can really uh create this amazing drama in the photo. Let's have a look. All right. Uh so I've got my Canon 100mm macro lens f2.8 and I'm quite close to the subject and let's fire with the shot with the backlight on. Look at that shine and glisten. When you go macro in food and with the backlight on, it's it's just absolutely amazing, and it's amazing for videography as well, shooting with the continuous light. So these are pretty much the most uh, these are pretty much the most basic, not really basic. These are the most used lighting setups for food photography in the industry. and it makes the food look really awesome i've been using these techniques for the past 6 years now and that's it guys thank you for watching this video all right for this next setup i am using my flash with the bare bulb and just with a reflector on and i pointed towards pointed this towards the ceiling and what it would do is uh it'll act as a skylight it bounces back off the ceiling in this into the scene and it's going to create a very even kind of lighting it's not really recommended for food it's a very very ra rare lighting situation for food at least and i use it very rarely but it's just here i'm just showing it to you and let's fire away the shot and let's have a look it's a very soft kind of light like just even light throughout the scene notice how the shadows are down below every object and it's not the as i said it's not the ideal way of lighting food but yeah there you go you can always do that So that's it guys. I hope you liked this video and learned something out of it. If you liked it, please share it with your friends. Let me know in the comments how, uh, you know. Let me know in the comments and uh, I will see you in the next one. 3 hours later. Quite tasty.